Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at Open Candy. Now, Open Candy is a pub, and it's basically uh, a piece of software that gets installed on your system without your permission. We don't want it on our system. Sometimes they stealthily install on your system, or sometimes it may be a case we have to take a couple of ticks out to do a custom install to remove that from the installation. It normally comes bundled with a lot of freeware software and uh, it's undesirable software that you never ask for and also it could be toolbars and stuff like that and it can cause havoc with your system, okay? So what we're gonna do is show you some examples and then how we can remove it from the system. Okay, it's pretty straightforward stuff, but I just want to show you this because a lot of people are saying that they've been getting infected. It's not really an infection, really. So let's start off with uh, one of these programs here. We're going to go through the process of just installing this, and I'll just show you what I mean here. Everything looks okay here, and then you get this. Now, sometimes these are uh, not not seen when you do like a general install, like a recommended install, um, it's normally hidden. But now you can see the actual ticks are there, okay? Now what I mean by that is uh, previously when you go to install this, uh, you would have not have had that choice, okay, like custom install. But here you can see it, so you would need to make sure you take the ticks out of this, otherwise you're going to end up with the Amazon toolbar and also uh, your main search page will be changed to Amazon, okay? So once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go, and uh, that means that, that you've not installed any of this open candy. Same thing with uh, other programs. You'll see there's tons of programs with this type of uh, open candy installed on it. As you can see here, open candy end user license agreement. Okay, you can see that there. Most people won't read this because we skip past this, but you will see it in the uh, license agreement okay so as soon as you accept this license agreement you can't uh, moan about it okay because you're agreeing to their terms so as soon as you go like this and then next let's just say we create a shortcut we go to here now express install before you install you want to make sure that you read the terms and conditions here you can see the We've got a conduit and uh, some other nasty stuff that's going to be installed on the system. We don't want that. So what you need to do before you start going click, 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 you need to read and see what you're doing here. Custom install. Install search protection. You see, I've changed the actual uh, installation process here and I want to take this out. We don't want that in there. There's nothing wrong with the program. It's just bundled with a load of junk that you don't want. So you need to make sure that you take the ticks out and it won't go on the system, okay? So that's there. So we've installed these two programs without installing any open candy. Same thing with Crystal Disk. You're gonna get the same scenario and there's loads of other programs. I'm not just picking on these ones in particular. I'm actually just showing you an example of what happens on a daily basis. And you end up with tons of toolbars and all other sorts of stuff on your system that you don't want. Same sort of thing again. That conduit thing, it's nasty. You can see here. Now if you did install this, that's going to install that program on your system. So you want to make sure that you're always watching what you're doing, okay, when you come to installing it. Okay. Let's just do one more here. Just going to do pzip. Go next and you can see here license agreement again open candy end user license agreement that's what you want to be looking out for guys when you install this type of uh, software okay before you do that and uh, you can see the actual agreement here what you're uh, agreeing to okay so that's basically um, how you go about installing stuff on your system you need to watch and be careful what you're installing now what about removing this stuff let me just show you some programs that you can use to remove this particular stuff from your system once you get invaded by it okay so here we have a couple of programs that you can use to remove this type of stuff from your system you've got 
ADW cleaner and also JRT cleaner. This is going to remove all the uh, stuff. So this is junkware removal tool, basically JRT, and also you've got the ADW cleaner. These will remove all your toolbars and other crap from your system. Now, before you run these, you want to make sure that you uninstall all the undesirable software that's actually been slipstreamed into your system without your knowing. So what you need to do is come up to uh, search here and you're going to go control panel and you can see before I've even typed it up there we can click on this and you want to go to uninstall a program and look inside your uninstall a program and they will be all listed inside here um, but not all of them but most of them will be here and you can just uninstall them from the system okay now once you've done that the next thing you need to do is some of them get added as an extension on your system and you will need to come into here okay and you want to go into settings of your browser extensions if you look inside extensions here you'll see extensions that have been added in on your system and you can just take the ticks out and just add them to the recycle bin or remove them that way okay and other browsers have got a similar thing extensions and add-ons okay that you need to remove once you've done all that and you've exhausted all that then you run these two programs okay that's the best way of removing them now once you've uh, used these two tools you can also run Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and other tools like that and that will help remove all the other remnants left behind okay so anyway I think that's going to be about it so I hope you enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos and you find it useful then hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos then hit the subscribe button and that will keep you up to date when I upload new videos so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now